Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Formula 1 2003 career mode and today we're back for round number 2 at Brazil. If you guys haven't seen episode 1 or round 1 at Australia then go check that one out guys, I'll leave a link up in the top right so go watch it, that one was put out yesterday so if you don't want to get any spoilers now is your chance to click off the video and go see it. But today as you heard me say we're here at Brazil at Interlagos for round 2 and for this one we're going to increase the AR difficulty up to 108. We're going to try and do that and we're going to see how it goes. So if you guys are going to enjoy the episode as always leave a like, subscribe for more. Let's try and smash over 1200 likes on this one and let's jump into the short qualifying, no sorry the one shot qualifying session. Okay here we go. Let's see if we can nail it over one lap. One shot quality underway down towards turn 1. You may notice I'm running a slightly different camera view and um, a lot of people in the comments were suggesting and asking me for to change from the one in the last episode so I've moved it slightly further back so you can see the helmet now and uh, the bit more of the steering wheel but here we go PA right now it's gonna be tricky this one on 108 I think we're gonna be in a bit of trouble as we run a bit wide through there struggling with some oversteer even on medium trash control David Coulthard right now our teammate P1 obviously we raced here a couple of weeks ago in the first video I did with this mod and the AI were pretty aggressive so I'm not expecting much different to be fair P7 right now I'm trying to see if I can get a few more places back here P6 oh that was nice managed to break super late there P5 right now I'll happily take this I'm going to try and keep it super close to the left See if I can take a shorter line and maybe gain something back here. Down to the line. P5. Yes, P5. We'll take that. Very decent. Okay. Much better than Australia. And a much better place to start overall. Happy with that. Well, it's nearly time to get today's Grand Prix underway. We've got a number of drivers in contention. But of course, only one can claim that coveted top step of the podium. Interlagos, always a very special race here in Brazil. It's a 2.7 mile circuit with nine lefts and six rights for a total of 15 corners. But it's a wet one today, so grip and visibility will be at a premium. The drivers will need to be careful coming up the hill in sector three, the scene of many an accident over the years. It's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, Although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the tree. Actually, Davidson, could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Or well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. And judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Alexander Albon put in a great lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And talented Spaniard Carlos Sainz completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Norris, Max Verstappen and Hamilton, Leclerc, Vettel, Perez and Antonio Giovinazzi, Ocon. Ricardo, Pierre Gasly, and Latifi, Kvyat, Stroll, Kimi Raikkonen, and George Russell, Magnussen, and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. I mean, it had to happen, didn't it? We had to get some damn rain. Here we are then, on the grid for the race, and I don't know what to expect. Just as I'm starting to get comfortable with the car, and I think I know how things are starting to work, a curveball comes in, we now got rain, and I don't know how the AI are going to perform. Will they be faster, slower, more aggressive, more stupid? Who knows? Either way, um, strategy wise, we're just going to send it. The game says no stop, apparently. Again, not sure. We'll kind of just follow the AI's lead on this one. In the last race, we had a lot of rear tire wear, so I'm expecting the same problem again here today. But anyway, let's jump into it and let's see what happens. Oh dear me, I'm struggling for grip, man. Do I, do, did I miss the memo or something? Like, did I not catch the, the grip hack memo? Because I'm struggling so much for front end grip. Oh, there's been a crash behind us and debris flying off the car there. 
my fronts are just not working. I'm on slicks apparently. I mean, surely everyone else is as well, but... Oh man, this is chaos. I'm just having no fun right now, no grip whatsoever. I don't know. I really don't know, man. This is so confusing. Tire wear looking pretty balanced compared to the last race. But this overheating issue is um, giving me problems right now. I might have to turn tire temps off for future races. Same way I've got traction and ABS on to make this car drivable. Oh my god, I've taken Mark Webber out with me. I'm so sorry, Mark. Oh god. Wing damage? No, not quite. But I am in big trouble. We're going to have to turn tire temps off, I think to be able to race in these wet conditions. Can I change that now? I'm a pos is it possible to change it? No, I can't. We need to change this. This is a, a problem right here. So, um, yeah, not ideal really. Right, let's see if this does the trick. Five red lights. Here we go. Lights out and we're underway. Nice start. Barrichello getting off to a bit of a poor one. I wonder if he can finally win his home race. Side by side here with Montoya, who's trying to have a look up the inside, but he's not going to make it stick. We're going to slot just behind Rubens. Michael Schumacher to get in a great start in the other Ferrari up ahead. We've got Montoya here looking for the move. He's uh, Actually, no, it's Ralph Schumacher, my bad. So Ralph getting a good start. He's going to try and look around the outside at turn four. We're going to make sure we don't let him get by. And so far, so good as we get a warning for track limits. Just a bit of a silly one there. But let's see if we can actually compete now in these conditions. Hopefully, now we've turned the carcass temps off. We'll be slightly more on pace. If not, then I'm just washed and you can call me a fraud. But um, hopefully, that should do the trick. So let's see if we can keep pace. So far, it does look a bit better. Not a lot better. I'm still seemingly struggling a little bit to keep pace. But um, I think we're going to be okay this time around. If we still go backwards, that's fine. But at least we'll be within the chance of actually fighting and defending, which is something I couldn't do in the, in the first one. Um, up ahead though, DT down a P3, so David Coulthard has lost the lead. I believe it's a Renault 1-2 right now. Uh, we'll get confirmation in a second who's in the lead out of the two. It's going to be Alonso. So Alonso P1, Yano Trulli P2, and uh, DC P3 as both Renaults actually battle a little bit. Then we've got the two Ferraris. So all the big boys are up here, the big four. Renault, Williams, Ferrari, McLaren, all up in the top eight. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Long way to go though, 18 laps. And will there be a pit stop? Who knows? Oh, it's a little bit wide through there. I was hoping to get a run on Barrichello. Completely messed it up instead, which is a bit of a shame. But I was starting to find a bit of pace there in the middle sector. I was starting to show my true rhythm. So we'll try again next lap as it uh, looks like Cool Thoughts. That's the new fastest lap, 17.5. There we go, fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Only just, pretty much matching DC's lap, but still obviously slightly faster than the cars ahead as we close up a little bit. And we're also just starting to drop the two Williams cars behind us. Of course, no DRS, so it's gonna be interesting. The cars are scaled in terms of performance to re kind of represent the real life 03 season. So the Renaults who are currently one, two, shouldn't be the fastest, therefore, and that's the reason why, they're kind of holding up a bit of a train here, so let's see if we can close up this lap. It's going to be back-to-back -back fastest laps. As we just start to close in now on Barrichello. Schumacher right behind David Coulthard for P3. Still no big action though, everyone's just kind of following in a train at the moment. I am just struggling to close the gap. I wonder if there's going to be pit stops in this race. I think there will be a pit stop in this race, looking at the tire wear, so we'll have to start planning for that. Also, fuel-wise, I've probably underfueled a little bit too much, I think, as I'm struggling to save. May just have to run a bit of standard mix to try and save up. We have now pretty much dropped the Williams cars, so it's um, a six-way fight-ish. Obviously, the, the pit stops could open everything back up again, but I'm just struggling to find a zone where I'm super, super fast, or I can make a move on Barrichello right now. We'll see, though. Sets the pit stop could be key in terms of opening this race up. But right now, this is the closest I have been to Rubens. I try to get the cut back through there using the traction control. If I can get the run down the hill, bit of understeer there. Another warning for track limits. So one more, we're gonna have a penalty coming our way, which is a little bit unfortunate, but look at this. This is the closest I've been to a car on the straight. 
But do we have enough juice on the straight with a default setup to try and get past? Looks like we're lacking quite badly compared to the Ferrari. It's going to be pretty much a personal best. Had a little look at Rubens there, but no way through right now. It's going to have to be in a corner somewhere in the middle sector, I think. Oh, I'm super close this time. We've had a great middle sector. Trying to get as close as possible. I thought about going up the inside there, but it just hasn't worked out. I have requested a bit less front wing, so that hopefully they'll turn it down in the pit stop. I am struggling with understeer, but if it gives me a bit more straight line speed, then I'll well commit to try and make some overtakes happen. Because right now we're just lacking a bit on the straight. Oh my god, Schumacher's run wide. I've run quite wide as well, but that's put Schumacher under pressure now from his own teammate. So a bit of a mistake there from the seven-time world champion, of course, back in this day. Um, Four-time world champion, no, five-time world champion. Barrichello, they're not able to put the pressure on there and capitalize on that error from Michael Schumacher. Right, is anyone going to pit? No, not of course, I don't anyway, so I'm going to box now. Can we get it all slowed to the speed limit? Yes, we can. Right, so we're going to box for a fresh set of tyres. Going to get a slight negative adjustment. The Renaults are stacking, but this is bad news for us because we are going to go and get held by Truly there. As you can see, we lost a little bit of time. Not ideal. We're going to have to push there on this outline. It's going to be key that we absolutely send it. Let's try and tackle this pit exit. Can't really push like I would normally like to because I'm not confident in the car. So we're just going to be careful through here. There's uh, Frenson going through turn three right now. Okay, so P10. We need to give it everything on the tap lap straight away. So let's push and see if we can make an undercut happen. I think we're going to get the move on Frenson here. Alexander is in the front. Alexander in the pits. Getting the cut back on the inside of the final corner. And we're through. Let's use the straight on speed now. We've got a bit less front wing, so hopefully it helps us. We have overtaken Yano truly, so that's going to be a bonus point. Uh, will the Ferraris stack? I think they have stacked the Ferraris, so one of them, in this case Barrichello I believe, is going to lose out as well. So AI are not maybe the, the most clever strategies in terms of you know pit stops as they're going to do some stacking. But look at this. This is going to be close with Michael Schumacher on the pit exit. Very close. But it looks like we're just ahead. And we're up into the top three and on for a podium. DC as well up to P2. That has worked out beautifully for us. And we've got both cars on the podium right now. Alonso's still out front, he leads the race. Let's try and make it awkward for him, but right now we're looking very decent and the pack has kind of broken up a little bit. This should be a new fastest lap. Alonso sets a 17-0, we just take it away from him. 17-0 as well from us. And the DC putting the pressure on Alonso right now. Let's try and close up the gap a bit in case they battle away. On for another fly here, this should be another fastest lap. Alonso just pulling the trigger a little bit out front as well. He sets a 16-7. We set another 16-7. So me and Alonso go and blow for blow right now. But Michael Schumacher responds further back. So he's trying to fight back here in this race. So I was wrong this entire time. It's actually Ralph Schumacher who I was battling on the pit exit in the Williams. I'm getting thrown off by the colours next to the names. It's throwing me off. So uh, my, my apologies for that. So it's actually Ralph Schumacher. We were racing out of the pits. And Michael's further behind. So... To be fair, Ralph's had a great race. It's actually worked out really well for him. The pit stop phase, he's gained quite a lot. Bit of a better lap from both myself and DC. We've closed the gap on Alonso. Alonso having a bit of a poor one that time around. We're going to set a new personal best. I don't think it's going to be a new fastest lap though. But we're closing in. We're dropping Ralph. As uh, Ralph is getting caught up by his brother. But I will admit, the difficulty is perfect. I'm trying so hard to close the gap. And I'm not quite able to. Like This is literally spot on. 108 is the sweet spot, at least for this track. Um, it's not the most entertaining race, but I'll tell you what, I'm bloody working for this, and I still can't get close. I'm trying everything. I can feel the limitations of the traction control and stuff, but it's the way to go because it's just faster. So it's realistic in that sense. Obviously, all the cars use traction back in 03, and then I need the ABS because there's an issue with the braking where the car just constantly locks up. So yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can squeeze anything out of the car really but it feels like Alonso just starting to lose a bit of pace now oh my god that was close I'm trying to take a bit of an early apex into there I'm struggling to get the car slowed down I almost wiped out my teammate in the process but we're close enough here I think I could pass DC look at the straight line speed that we have now compared to our teammate look at this we're going to get the run here it goes to the outside into turn one going to try and outbreak him 
we managed to just about do so around the outside and we're through and up into second place now can we catch Alonso in one and a half laps we've struggled so much this race but it does seem like we have good straight line speed so that could be a big advantage for us on the run up the hill on the last lap I've just got to try and get close enough to Fernando here so we've got to push and give it everything I'm pushing so much here to try and close this gap to Alonso it's going to come down to the wire I think I need to nail this end of the lap that's good through there very very good for the hairpin down here easy does it oh that's a bit wide but I think I might just be close enough Oh, I don't think we are. I think Alonso just pulled away a bit too much there. We've got the straight line speed, but I think we're just a bit too far back here. Down to the line. Alonso's going to win it, and we're going to finish in P2, though. What a response. I'll take that. It was a tough race at times, but they've held on to take a great victory for McLaren today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they clearly have a car that comes alive in the kind of conditions we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is that the drivers have confidence to attack. And having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, it lets you brake later, and can put you a long way up the road. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race for McLaren, that's for sure. And no doubt they'll be celebrating tonight. There it is then, let's talk about the results as Alonso picks up the W, we finish in second place and DC picks up a P3, so both cars on the podium, that is going to be big points for both championships. Ralph Schumacher P4 for Williams ahead of Michael Schumacher, Jano Trulli P6 ahead of Ruins Barrichello picks up the fastest lap for Ferrari and Juan Pablo Montoya rounds out the top 8 with Nick Hardfield and Jack Villeneuve rounding out the top 10 and the point scorers here today. Christian de Matter, P11 ahead of Jensen Button, Heinz Held Frensen, Antonio Pizzonia, Olivier Panis, Ralph Furman, Mark Webber, Justin Wilson, Giancarlo Fisichella, and Jos Verstappen run out the points. Uh, the, top, the race finishes, not point scorers, my bad. We look at the standings, and after two races, we are P6. So we've got a few points on the board. Alonso leads the way one point ahead of Michael Schumacher. Where have I seen that before? DC currently P3 as well. So in the constructors, we are second, and seven points off Ferrari. So right now, Good start to the season, good recovery after the first race, and we keep moving. So, yeah, we're going to move to the next one very soon, guys, for round three, which I believe is Spain, I think. So, yeah, that'll be round three. Um, but hopefully you guys look forward to that, and hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. As always, let's try and smash 1,200 likes. Subscribe for more daily F1 content on my channel, guys. And as always, thank you to the channel members for supporting the content. I really, really appreciate it. Finally, check out the two videos on screen, and I'll see you guys next time.